In today's video, I'll review four different figs, Vincenzo, Oxford, Lampera Preta, and the Desert King. Alrighty, this is July 19th, and um, you're looking at the Vincenzo fig. This is a Briba on here. And I got this fig, I, I believe back in 2016, and it's turned out to be one of my favorite Bribas in this garden and out of my collection. Um, look at that color on here. This beautiful red color. It's just so gorgeous. The, the eye on here is, uh, you know, it's not tight, but it is um, tight enough to keep it from splitting or, you know, bugs to get in here. So we're going to pick this guy today and do a taste test. <laughs> That's Nolan right there. He is super excited to see. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of damage from me picking that off. But uh, this is such a beautiful fig. Beautiful. It's one of the nicest figs we've got here. Okay, so, you know, I have a rating scale here from 1 to 10 as far as sweetness, flavor, size, and productivity for figs. Um, and I rate productivity based off of how many figs per branch. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six per branch, right? Divided, or total figs on a tree, divided by how many branches. So, um, okay, so I've got 18 figs on this tree, and there's a total of technically eight branches on here, a couple of those little, little small suckers. I counted those two, so, you know, 18 divided by eight, you're looking at about two and a half or so um, productivity score. Okay, so that's how I, I do that. Okay, so I've been getting uh, a number of ripe figs lately, including, you see this big specimen right here that's going up to the top of the greenhouse. This is my black Zadar. Believe it or not, it's only two years old and it's in a three gallon pot. What it's done is it's tapped into the, the the soil in the greenhouse and uh, it has just been growing like mad. Um, I've already picked a Breba off of this thing because there was a little bit of a earwig situation. But look at that other one. Oh my God, that is massive and it's beautiful. And look how productive this tree is. Look at all that. Isn't that amazing? Every branch is loaded. Okay. So look at this. Look at that. This is a three gallon pot. <laughs> so awesome. I love it. So there's a couple more Bribas that we're going to put today. And um, it's going to be, I believe this is an Oxford fig that I got from um, Off the Beaten Path. It actually kind of reminds me of a Brunswick and I believe that's what it technically is. It's a, it, it's a Brunswick because it exhibits kind of similar Brunswick problems of splitting. Uh, I've ha already had almost every single breed while on this thing split. Much like a Dan's favorite. My <laughs> that's Nolan. He can't wait to eat. We're going to pick this guy too. All right. And we're going to get the leaf. Very rep reminiscent of a Brunswick leaf. Uh, that one, that one. No, wait, it's not ready, Nolan. And then we're also going to get the Desert King that has been growing in the greenhouse that's also tapped into... Um, oh, look at that. One just fell. Tapped into the ground. We, we need to pick that guy up, and we're going to eat it because Nolan is looking forward to eating some figs. Right, Nolan? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is actually going to be a premiere for me as far as uh, this variety. It is a Lampera Preta. There's a little bird damage on that guy, but this is supposed to be one of the better tasting Bribas. Uh, I got this from my friend Slavi up in Kirkland. Shout out to him for this plant. And I'm um, really, really looking forward to eating this thing. Let's pick this guy as well. I blew it, Daddy. I blew it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Hi. All right, here it is. Nolan can't wait to eat this. He is ready to go. He's ready to dive into this thing. This is our buffet for today. And this is the Desert King grown in the greenhouse. So it's ripening a lot earlier. This is Oxford, which I believe is a Brunswick. This is Lampera Preta. Look at that beautiful leaf, kind of reminiscent of the Black Madeira. I have to watch Nolan here. He's, he's ready to go. And this is the Vincenzo Briba. Look how beautiful that fig is. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, what we're gonna do, we have to appease the little fig thief. So that way he's distracted and that we can cut into these guys and uh, ha, we can cut into these guys and then see what they look like on the inside, okay? Okay, so let's start off by weighing these guys. I'm gonna start off with the uh, the Desert King. Desert King, wow, that's a good size Desert King. That is 70.5. That's a very good size Desert King. Okay, let's check out the Vincenzo. 50.9, that's not bad at all. And then the Brunswick. Now this is like the third one on here. 67 grams. I've had a lot of splitting problems with the uh, the Oxford fig. But I, I believe that's just a Brunswick. Okay, and then the Lampera Preta. This is 48 grams. Nice. Alright, let's cut open the Desert King. I like my Desert King to go really soft. This is a little bit... Kind of not as ripe as I like it. I like to be real soft, but it's okay. I've got a lot more coming. I've got some trees that are grown outdoors. This one was grown in the greenhouse. And then the Oxford fig, which I believe is really just a Brunswick. Right there. Okay. And uh, the Vincenzo. The beautiful Vincenzo fig. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Look at that. And the Lempera Preta. I've been looking forward to this fig for at least a couple of years now. Okay, so we're ready to do some taste testing for some of the Brebas here. And, um, you know, let's start with the Desert King. It's something I've done almost every single year now, but, you know, it's a good fig here in Seattle. This one's a little under where I would like it to be, but um, overall, Desert King is just a really good fig. It's big, it's juicy, it's productive, super reliable. It has kind of a freshness about it when you bite into it. It's a really good Desert King. It's still a super, really good fig here in Seattle. So, if you live in Seattle, definitely plan a Desert King. Now check out the Brunswick. I mean, I'm calling this Brunswick because it reminds me of it, but this was sent to me uh, as an Oxford fig, uh, which is probably where Bill found it. But um, yeah, Brunswick, Oxford, probably the same thing. Very subtle, super, super subtle. Juicy has kind of this big cavity in the middle. Um, problem with this type of fig or this Oxford fig is it splits really bad here in Seattle, and um, just in general, I think it's, it's been in the greenhouse. So you know, every time the water goes and it's close to being ripe, it'll split. Kind of like a, a lot like the Dan's favorite fig that I had or still have, and you know, I've never really gotten reliable fruit from it. It's good. It's subtle. It's not overly sweet. Um, very mild uh, in terms of flavor. Uh, let's go to the Vincenzo. Now, this was one of my top 10 figs last year, uh, and I love this fig. Uh, the color of it, the sweetness, and the flavor were just everywhere I wanted a really good fig to be. So let's try this guy this year. The tree's a little bit bigger, so you know, hopefully it tastes even better this year. Okay. Wow. Wow. It's just so flavorful and sweet. 
Not super sweet, but just like perfectly sweet. Like a perfect dessert. Mmm. Wow. Vincenzo. Still going to make the top 10 for me this year. It tastes even better this year. Now, this could have probably gone another day, but kind of that, that rich, syrupy sugar coating this explodes in your mouth and just kind of coats it for you know, the, the few seconds while you're chewing it. Just makes it a really, really good fig. Delicious. Delicious. Now, the Vincenzo... Yay! Hey, Nolan. The Vincenzo might also be known as the Palermo Red uh, or Aldo. So last but not least, we're going to try the Lempera Preta. Now, this thing has been hyped up so much for me that I'm really, really looking forward to it. This is the first time I'm trying out this fig, and I'm super excited that... Uh, Oh, Don't just stop talking to you. Don't be me, daddy. Don't be me, daddy. Wow. That is amazing. Take another bite. I have a few more. There's an immediate kind of fresh flavor punch right at the beginning. It's not figgy at all. Again, I love my figs with kind of light melon tones and not something that's overly rich or super, super sweet like Peter's Honey or the Genovese Nero. This one is really good. Flavor-wise, it's great. has a nice bite to it. Um, Daddy, can I have it? It's really, really good. So Lampera Preta is a delicious fig. And uh, I definitely will try to put this guy in ground and get a bigger... Maybe make another one. Um, it is a San Pedro type, so you're not going to get a main crop out of it. Um, okay, so the Lampera Preta, delicious fig. I love it. Um, and I'll put all the scores as far as, you know, how they taste and rank on the screen for you. Um, out of all of these today, Lampera first, Vincenzo, Desert King, and then the, the Oxford fig. Um, if I had to rank them for today's meal. Uh, I guess that's it, you guys. There's going to be a lot more figs coming uh, this year. I just haven't had a chance to make a lot of videos because we've had some family emergencies and um, you know, I've been trying to spend as much time as possible with my family so that um, you know we can kind of deal with things. But, um, you know, this is a therapeutic thing for me to be in the garden and then share my information with you guys. Um, on some of the varieties that I have so that way you can make the right decision as far as you know purchasing varieties for your area so uh, if you're in the Pacific Northwest please 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 use my videos uh, as a um, as information for you to decide on which which varieties to buy it makes perfect sense we live in the same climate anyhow if you like the videos please like it if you like any more please subscribe it help me to understand that you are liking the content that I'm putting out there. Until next time, bye-bye.